Look at this question here. This question says that find the number of divisors of the number 1 factorial into 2 factorial into 3 factorial into 10 factorial which are perfect squares. Okay. Now. So basically, uh, first of all, we just need to basically quickly find out what are the number of prime factors of every number here. Okay. Of every factorial. Level. For example, we should remember actually, right? I think we, we remember that 10 factorial contains 2 raised to 8 into 3 raised to 4 into 5 is square into 7 raised to 1. That's prime factorization of, factorization of 10 factorial, right? It contains 2, 8, 3, 5, uh, uh, 2, 3, 5, 7, power 8, 4, 2, 1. Correct. This you should, you should remember actually, okay? It's, it is used a lot of times in approximation and factorial questions also. Okay, so remember it, right? Now, what is 9 factorial, guys? 9 factorial, so I think uh, 2 will be same, right? So 2 will be how many times? 7 times because 9 to 10, 2 is added one time, right? Okay, so now it 2 is remain, 2 remains same. So in 10 factorial, only from 9 to 10, only 2 changes will happen, right? 1, 2 will be added, 1, 5 will be added, right? So in 9 factorial, I should again directly write 3 should be same. Now 2 and 5, the changes will happen and 7 will again remain same, right? Similarly, from 8 factorial, so from 8 factorial to 9 factorial, 9 is multiplied, 9 is 3 square. So only 3 will happen, right? Rest all will same. Rest all will remain same. So only 3 square change will happen here. Okay, like this. Similarly, if you move to 7 factorial, so in 7 factorial to 8 factorial, 8 is being multiplied. So 7 factorial, what I'm telling is, from 7 factorial to 8 factorial, 8 is being, only 8 is being multiplied, right? So from 7 factorial to 8 factorial, only 8 is being multiplied. So what is that 8? 8 is 2 cubed. So only 2 should increase the power by 3. So basically, that should be 2 raised to 4 into 3 is square into 5 raised to 1 into 7 raised to 1. Correct, right? Okay. Similarly, uh, if you get 6 factorial, from 6 factorial to 7 factorial, only 7 is getting multiplied. Okay, only 7, right? So this basically, if you remove 7 here, it becomes 2, 4 into 3 is square, okay, into 5 raised to 1. Similarly, what is 5 factorial? So when you come lower down, it becomes easier, right? What is 5 factorial? So 5 factorial basically, so simply uh, 2 and 3 will, will, will reduce 1, 2 and 3. So 2 cube into 3, into 5. That's it, right? Okay. So basically, uh, okay. So basically, so that's that's the thinking uh, is required in this question, right? Okay. Now, if you see this here, so basically, what is four factorial? Right? It's four factorial. So four factorial is like uh, if it's tw only twenty-four, right? You can do it mentally, you know, two cube into three raised to one. Three factorial is what? Again, two into three. What is two factorial? One into two. Correct, like that. Okay. So what is the basically powers of 2, right? So if you collect all the powers of 2, so if I see, right, 1 factorial into 2 factorial, so if you see, right, so basically all the tough questions of CAT, if you see in previous years, they're formed on the most basic concepts, right? You just have to be, be fast in thinking and all, right? So that's, that's why this question takes a perfect understanding of factorial calculations, also that perfect square funda also, right? Basically, uh, 4 factorial, and then we have here, 10 factorial, right? So if I multiply all this, what I'll get? So basically 2 is how many times you can see here, right? 2 is 1, 1, uh, 2, 3, 5, 3, 8, 4, 12, 16, 23, 30, and 38. So 2 is 38 times. Okay, fine. 3 is how many times? You will see 3 guys. So 3 is how many times basically? So 3 is basically uh, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 9, 13, 17. 3 is 17 times. Then 5 is how many times? 1, uh, basically 5, 2, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 7 times, right? So 5 is basically 7 times. And similarly, 7 is how many times? 7 is 4 times, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. So quite simple now, right? It's, it becomes right. So it's just like, just really like, I need to treat like a number here. Like n is equal to 2 raised to 38 into 3 raised to 17 into 5 raised to 7, into 7 raised to 4, right? Where where this uh, should be a perfect square, right? So which factors are perfect square? So we know that fact perfect square basically means what? Any, any integer should have even power of the form 2k, such that if I do its a square root, 2, 2 will get cancelled and some integer value is left. That's the meaning of perfect square, right? So basically, the bracket of 2, right, you just need to understand this, this bracket of 2, like if you do it mentally, right, 
if you can think of mentally so it's, it's something like this 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 1 till 2 raised to 38 correct it is like 2 raised to uh, 3 raised to 0 3 raised to 1 till 3 raised to 17 correct then 5 raised to 0 5 raised to 1 then 5 raised to 7 and then 7 raised to 0 till 7 raised to 4 okay so basically if you can directly think of mentally right directly think of this mentally okay so what is happening here so basically from the brackets of 2 so 2 from 1 to 38 so i need all the even powers right multiples of 2 so from 1 to 38 there, there will be 19 multiples of 2 and plus this 2 raised to 0 because don't leave it because this is always 1 is always a positive square okay so 19 plus 1 so 20 terms here right similarly from 1 to 17 we'll have 8 multiples of 2 okay or you can directly also do that from 0 to 17 there are 18 18 18 numbers here if there are 18 numbers here so half will be even half will be odd so you can directly take 9 also from this bracket okay similarly 0 to 7 there are 8 numbers here out of 8 again you need half half is 4 0 to 5 there are 5 numbers here 5 then basically when it's odd number it basically means that from 1 to 4 you need these two numbers here and that is 1 7 to 0 that is make that makes it makes it total 3 so it will be 3 here okay it's like 20 into 9 into 4 into 3 so it's like 18 4 here 72 into 3 2 1 6 so 2 1 6 0 is the answer for this question and also also this combat guys okay so this uh, combat uh, you know it's a very good test series it contains some good high quality questions okay so there are easy questions are, are not asked here so it basically it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts okay and uh, uh, this from this sunday onwards it is in basically revised format so basically we are mo moving closer to cat right now so in january february and march we were like away uh, we are around eight to ten months away from cat so the questions we put off maybe some uh, easier or medium level right but this from now onwards the questions will be of higher higher level okay and uh, all the LRDA sets also, um, this quant questions also, and basically it's a fun, it's fun, right? Actually giving, this is a fun because after every question you get, you get, get, you get your live ranking, okay? Then uh, after every question, the faster you answer, the better, you the better your rank is, right? You get more points. So actually those one hour test is a fun. And actually, if you look at the CAT, you should give uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and tests before CAT, okay? And this is one of your high quality tests, absolutely free of cost. And uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding, but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this, I think, okay. So rank one, two, three, one year subscription, I think around 20,000 or 75% scholarship or 50%. So it's a great prizes are on offer here, okay. So get it live from your mobile app. You just put the uh, link here. I'll, uh, this uh, invite code you can put here, Ravi Roda, it ask you for invite code. It is absolutely, absolutely free of cost. Okay. Ask you for invite code put Ravi Roda and the link I'll put in description. Just enroll from there. Okay. And do give this every Sunday. Do give this at 12 p.m. It's on every Sunday. Okay. So every Sunday, give this on 12 p.m. Thank you.